Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to do a product review of the Crooks Essential 3-piece microwave pasta maker. Okay guys, this is the Crooks Essential 3-piece pasta maker. And uh, what it consists of is three boxes that you can cook pasta in your microwave in. What you get is you get one long pasta maker. This is great for spaghetti, linguine, vermicelli, any long pasta. And this here is 12 and 1 16th inches at, by 5 and 5 8 inches by 3 and 5 8 inches. Okay, then you get two ones smaller ones that are the exact same size. They're eight and three sixteenths of an inch by five and five eighths of an inch by three and five eighths of an inch. All right now that we got that out of the way. Let's take a look at them. Now they're all identical in size, so I'm just going to show you the big one, guys. This is for smaller pasta like ravioli or um, small shells. Do some macaroni, and we're going to put macaroni and cheese in the big one today in the microwave to try it out. But you have a lid that seals on here pr fairly tightly which is good. You don't want to have it come off and burn anybody. Give your pasta basket. Now you can use this two ways. You can lift this out after your pasta is drained and then the lid there's perforations. You dump this over the sink and drain it. I'm going to go ahead and get this washed up and we'll get this uh, cooking some microwave uh, macaroni and cheese up. Alright guys, now that we got this washed out, like I said it has the inner basket. This is what because I washed it out. I'm going to put that in. I have a pound of elbow macaroni we're going to dump in here. Now I'm going to take this over to the sink to fill it with some water. I'll bring it back and show you. Just give me one second. I'm filling with cold tap water. And you just want to fill it with enough water that your water comes up a little over a half of an inch over top of the pasta. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt in here. We're going to go for about two teaspoons, and I'm just eyeballing this, guys. If you don't like or can't have salt, you can leave that out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and seal my lid on here, and like I said, this seals on here nice and tight for you. And guys, don't mind my finger. I cut that last sign on the stand we have up in the hallway. It's really sharp. I thought I was going to cut my finger off. Let me take you over to the microwave, and we'll put this in and see how it works out. Okay, guys, this is a new microwave my son Eric bought me from Amazon. It's Alexa capable. It's a really nice microwave. It's expensive, it was like 250 bucks, but it came with an Amazon tap, the little uh, Alexa you talk to. Let me go ahead and open this up and get our pasta in there. And we'll start this up. Alexa, give the microwave 10 minutes. Microwaving for 10 minutes. All right, I'm going to let that go for 10 minutes, guys. Alright guys, while my macaroni cooks, we're going to make a simple cheese sauce for our macaroni and cheese. I'm going to start out here with about four tablespoons of butter. And guys, this isn't going to be shy in the calories, so if you're on a diet, you might want to look the other way. And I'm just going to start to melt my butter down. Okay, now that my butter is just about all melted down, you want to do this in a non-stick pan. You don't want to do it in a cast iron or uh, stainless steel because it's cleanup's going to be a mess in a day or two when we go to wash it. And if you're interested in the pasta makers, I'll put a link down below. They sell them at QVC and are $16.66 for the set of three. You're probably saying to yourself, well, what's the purpose of using them over just boiling water on a stove? Well, it's more convenient because you don't have to dirty a pot to boil it in, and then you have to use your strainer or your colander, or here everything's built into one. And we'll see how they do, guys. It may not do a good job or it might do a great job. But I'm thinking it's the same concept as using a pressure cooker. You put your pasta in under the water and you let the, the heat and the steam do the work. Okay, none of my butter's melted down pretty good. I'm going to add in some milk. I'm going to go for roughly about two cups of milk. And we'll just eyeball on this, guys. I'm going to warm that up for a minute. I'm going to turn my heat up just a hair. And then we're going to add in our cheese. While that's warming up, I'll add in some black pepper. Now, we're not going to add in any salt because that was salt of butter and the cheese has salt in it. I'm going to add in about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Because to me, black pepper and uh, macaroni and cheese are made to go together. I also like putting ketchup on when it's done, guys. It's good that way. Okay, now that my milk's starting to warm up, I'm going to add in my cheese. I have roughly here... I'd say about three cups of cheese. We're just going to go ahead and add all that in there slowly. Whew. 
Yes, Dexter. Holly just got home from work. I heard the front door open and Dexter's in there uh, all charged up to see her. And I might have to give my macaroni a minute or two longer because I don't like it real al dente. If, dente. if we were going to put this in the oven, I'd have it al dente because it would bake some in the oven, but I'm just going to serve it like this. But you could put this under the broiler for a few minutes in the oven and get a nice crisp on top of your, nice brown on top of your macaroni and cheese. So I'm just going to allow this to melt over medium heat and we'll just keep this warm until our macaroni is done microwaving. Okay guys, my macaroni's done. I went ahead and drained it through the lid like I showed you earlier. Now it did cook over a little bit in the microwave and the glass uh, dish that's in there. But it is a lot more convenient doing it that way and drain it through the lid. So if you don't mind wiping out the microwave quick, that isn't much of a problem. I'm going to go ahead and add my macaroni into my cheese sauce. this a stir to loosen everybody up and I don't know if I forgot to tell you it took 13 minutes 10 minutes it wasn't done enough for me I feel like yours al dente about 11 minutes 12 would be good but 10 is just not enough for a whole pound of elbow macaroni you can see that's nice and cheesy and gooey I'm going to let this chill out on warm for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and fry up some ham to go with supper. Once I get that fried up, then we'll plate this up and uh, we'll give it a try, guys. All right, now that my ham's all fried up, I got this all plated up. Let's give that macaroni and cheese a try. And I just left it sit on the burner on warm. It's really good. It's cheesy. Now, if you like your macaroni and cheese a little creamier, just add a little more milk into it. I'm not going to try the ham because we all know what ham tastes like. All right, there you have it, guys. A product review on the Cook's Essential Microwave Pasta Cooker. I'll put a link for it down below in the description bar. Check it out. Until next time, I'll see you.